I am headed out to the post office. I have a, a ton of stuff to drop off real quick. And I had a friend, well, I had an acquaintance contact me and say, hey, I got a bunch of stuff that you may be interested in. Is it something you're willing to do right now? And I said, well, depends on how we do it. And I think he's basically just got it out in his garage, I believe, is my understanding. And I can hunt and peck through it if I want and find what it is I want and give him a price and see if he's willing to do it. So we're gonna give it a shot. All right, so we got this little garage and we're gonna be able to look through this stuff. I already seen pretty cool stuff. See if there's anything we might want here. Look at that. And look up. Marlboro sign back there. And see if we can't make a deal on a few little items and take them home and see if we can make a little bit of money. All right, I'm not going to film too much in here, y'all, because it is so dark and it's kind of tough to see. But I have pulled a few things out already. And I think they're pretty cool. We're uh, going to go home and I'll let you take a look at them there. But you can see it's got some neat stuff, so I'm definitely going to be coming back here at some point and seeing if we can make some big deals for the antique booth. And I even found a little bit of gold, maybe, that I am going to take home and I'm going to look up and see if it is, and then we'll give him a good price, or if nothing else, he'll know what he has, and he can sell it, so... All right, so you saw a little bit of that. I was putting some in there and I put the camera on because we could see it a little bit better outside. So we're just gonna head home and I'll let you take a look at some of it when we get home. It's nothing amazing. We'll make, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks on it. I think the total price, I think we paid is 70. And then I bought a few extra things um, at the very end when he came out. So anyway, I think we'll do okay on it. I'm pretty happy with it and I'll let you take a look. I like some of this stuff. And there are a few things in there that could be worth some real money if I go through there and, uh, and find a little bit more. There's a knife in there that I believe is a, a World War II knife. And I think it's an American World War II knife. There's one that had some markings that was Turkish, but it's in terrible condition. It would be a $50 knife easy, but it's in bad condition. So if I can find out about the other knife, it might pay for the whole lot. Uh, might be worth more than that, I don't know, but I couldn't find any information as I was looking at it. So, at any rate, some cool stuff and some jewelry. I told him I'd look up and tell him the value of the jewelry best I could anyways, so he would at least know and not offer him a price where I could make money. Well, I'm back and I wanted to walk you through this real quick. We paid 70, I think in all, $77 for this. And it's not going to be a huge money maker, but there's some pretty cool stuff in here and we'll make a little bit of money. So I wanted to take you through it just a little bit and let you take a look at it. So first of all, these two items here are going to be just some items that I'm going to be looking up. I need to get my uh, jewelry loop and check them out. I saw markings on both, but I just couldn't make anything out. So I'm going to check those out and he knows I have them. He took a couple pictures of what I took and I was going to let him know what I thought about them and how much I'd offer them for them once I figure out what they are. These are two items that I did buy. They're both sterling pieces. Nothing special at all, but they were in a lot. So not much, but they are silver. And I bought a bunch of these, but the rest are, I think, in this bag. I did get some 8-tracks. That's Boxcar Willy. Nothing amazing here, but I thought they would sell. I have a vintage media booth. And so I thought these would be fairly good sellers in the media booth. Lucky ladies, Jeannie Seeley. Uh, country, unfortunately, I was hoping Merle Haggard, there you go. And Anaheim Stadium, what do you know about that? That's my old stomping grounds in Orange County. This is pretty cool. Unfortunately, not in good condition, needs cleaned. I think these are 1985 Titan Sports, if I remember. I had these, played with them all the time. And it is 1980, 
I'll say 89, that is not right. There's no way that's 89. It's got to be 85, right? Anyway, it's uh, Hulk Hogan, but the paint is gone, and it doesn't have the belt. So this is not worth much. Maybe 10 bucks plus shipping, 12 plus shipping, something like that, but not bad. And remember what we paid for everything. So Mr. Potato Head, still in the box. Looks like everything is there. My guess is it's, I don't know, $15 maybe plus shipping, something like that. And we bought a bunch of these, and I'll show them to you a little bit here at a time. This is DuckTales, and I wouldn't normally buy VHS, but these were all brand new sealed. So DuckTales has a little bit of a following. I remember coming home from school watching that. And Treasure of the Lost Lamp. So just because these are sealed is why I bought them. So some of them might have some decent value. Some of them are Black Diamond sealed, which Black Diamond is pretty much worthless. But sealed, you can make some money off of them someday. I didn't look any of these up, but I think... Like, Lion King, I would be surprised if Lion King isn't worth some money sealed. Not much, but a little bit. So I would guess if all of these sell, there's decent money. Some of them will be, you know, five, six bucks a piece plus shipping. Some of them may be as much as like $25. So Snow White sealed. Cinderella sealed. Might even put them in a lot. You know, Snow White, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty all sealed. Might bring a little bit of money. 101 Dalmatians, it's Black Diamond. Great Mouse Detective, sealed, Black Diamond. And another 101 Dalmatians, sealed. One's Black Diamond. Not sure they both are. Yeah, they both are. Another Cinderella, sealed. <laughs> That's funny. Toy Story sealed. It looks like Master Splinter. Might give that to Turner. And might give this one to Turner as well. I've seen that one before. It actually swings. This one I thought was cool. You know, I am a, a teacher. So that might end up in my classroom. But it's an old Chicago and it looks like it's intact. And a lot of stuff there was not in very good condition. But this one looked to be in pretty good condition. So I went ahead and picked it up. This one may be worth some, some money here. This one might be 15 to you know 30 bucks for this guy. It's even got a little stand with it. So I'm gonna have to look that one up and check it out. But it wouldn't be surprising if this one was you know 25 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. Wouldn't surprise me at all. All right, so here's the big question of the day. It is this one, so maybe I'll even take this off and let you look at it and see if you can tell me what it is. My guess is it is a World War One, or excuse me, World War Two blade. It says, I don't know if you read it right to left or up and down, U-C-U-S, and it's got some kind of, it's like a circle, it's not an O, it's something on top of it. So this one looked in okay condition, so the rust down here, but it you hit this and you can actually replace the blade, and it has the sheath for it. So I thought that was cool. That one, if I can identify it, might be worth a decent amount of money. Looks like another we got here. This I thought was cool. It's not worth a lot of money, but this is a 1908 greeting card, postcard, and. Uh, you know, a 1908 Santa Claus is pretty darn good. You go back many decades before that, and you basically invent Santa Claus. So that's pretty cool. I might ask, like, I don't know, four bucks plus shipping for that guy. Peter, Peter Pan, Black Diamond, sealed. It does have a little damage on the back, but it is still sealed. Here's one that may be worth a bunch of money. I feel like I've sold a Cadillac key before. I don't think it was this kind. The paint's not perfect on it, but that Cadillac key right there, I would say is at least 15 bucks, but it may be more than that, maybe 25, 30 bucks. It's got an SO key chain. Can't, it says key club on it. Any mailbox, I don't know. Some old Yale keys. So we'll, we'll put those in the booth and sell them. We'll, we'll look up, maybe look up that key chain. These are cool, nothing special. 
I don't know, who knows, maybe five bucks plus shipping. Maybe put in the antique booth for a little bit more. This one is probably worth a little bit more, of course. This is the Commonwealth Picker symbol here. It's the early Virginia motto, Six Semper Tyrannus, and it is on the Virginia State flag. So thus always to tyrants. So this is a reproduction. I've seen these before, and I think it's a reproduction of a, I think, Civil War era belt buckle. So that was a real deal. It might be worth a bunch of money, but I don't think it is. It's a Swiss Army knife, but it says swatch on the back, so I thought that was kind of cool. All right, here's another one. Now, this one I looked up while I was there, and it is a Turkish. I think it's Turkish. I don't know what the symbol says, but it has some markings right there somewhere. A-S-P-A? Anyways, I looked it up. If it was in good shape, it'd be 50 bucks. But it's not, and it doesn't have the sheath, so I don't know. Who knows? 10, 15 bucks plus shipping. An old Made in Japan cigarette case. Maybe five bucks in the booth, or I don't know, maybe seven or eight on eBay. This guy's might going to have some value here. The postage stamps of the Confederate States of America. And I looked these up, and there were a couple of solds, I think. Maybe none sold. I can't remember. I looked this one up as well, but it had some decent value on it. And it could be, you know, 25, 30 bucks for this guy. It could be as low as like 12. So we'll see. I think that one's going to be good, though. These, <laughs> I've been looking for California plates. This one's in rough shape, but this one is going to stay in here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. Might even end up here somewhere. That's the old plate from when I was a kid. It'll end up somewhere in here. And then a couple of Texas plates, and these are matching. I like it. I've never seen this one, but I'm sure it's pretty popular. The Lone Star State, but I like it because of the space shuttle on it. And it's a matching set, and they're in really good condition. So it's got to have some value. And then a bunch of keys here as well. This might be 15 to 20, 30 bucks worth of keys, maybe, depending on how we sell them. So I don't know. This isn't going to be a huge money maker, but this guy right here kind of holds the ticket for the rest of the stuff. What I can find out about this, this may end up paying for everything. Oh, you know what? I've got one more thing. Totally forgot about right here. This is my favorite thing out of the whole lot. Look at that. So I've got two thoughts here because the paint on this is pretty darn good. Rowdy Rowdy Piper, Iron Sheik, Nikolai Volkov. 1985 Titan Sports, Hulk, Andre, and JYD. And these are going to go for 25 to 35 bucks, I think. So between that one, and you know what? I might give that to my brother for his birthday. He'd love it. And this knife right here, we might end in that stamp book. We're going to pay for everything. The rest of it's going to be pure profit somehow. It'll be slow sales. But, you know, we'll make a couple hundred dollars off of this thing if we wait long enough. Oh, there's one more thing in here. Here we go. Safety first. Now, these are all over the place, too. I looked these up. And there's some kind of a... I don't know what you want to call them. It's weird. I have to look it up again before I tell you. Or maybe you can look it up. But safety first. Look up 7-Up Safety First. And you'll see these things. So they're kind of neat. And I don't know. 10 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. But pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty happy about it. But it is definitely not a, a home run. It's going to be a little bit of work. I would say maybe an hour worth of pictures and cleaning. And two or three hours worth of listing. And we'll make a couple hundred bucks off it. So... Not too bad. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.